Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer and Mika. I am the stamper, or the maker behind Stamped AF, and she is my very shaggy puppy who is in desperate need of grooming, but also desperate need of cuddle. Um, I need a microphone, don't I? Let me know if you can hear me. <laughs> Let me just pull this up. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you can hear me or if I need a microphone. Hopefully it's okay. Um, we are playing with the On the Farm bundle and uh, in honor, I am a duck. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, good. So I don't need a microphone. Yay! I'm just going to pull myself up here. Uh, Mika wanted to join. She is in desperate need of a cuddle, so... I've got her here. Say hi. No, she's like, no paparazzi. No paparazzi. I'm here for a cuddle. Okay, so I'm going to keep this short tonight. Looks ridiculous. Turn this down just a little bit and switch us around here. Oh, let's go a <laughs> Hi, Karen. Karen says, hi, Mika. I've got three of them, but uh, yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. Who is... Oh, why am I upside down? Bear with me for just a second here. You can see my mess upside down. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, I'm going to cover you up for just a second. I don't know why, how or why that went upside down. I don't want to make anyone sick. Okay, I'll cover this up and move it quickly. Okay, so you can see on the ticker on the bottom that if you enter hashtag on the farm, you will be entered. Of course I did it on there. Uh, you will be entered to win one of tonight's cards. Let me just open this up here. Maybe I can... Can I go between? Okay, so it's working on there. I'll just draw it on there after. Maybe that will even help me to share it. It's funny, I'm such a dummy because I have a week between lives. Actually, I wasn't live last week because I was sick. Uh, I'm still sick, but this darn cold will not like fully come on. It's not COVID. My son has a very nasty cold, uh, but mine just won't come on and it's like oh come on just come let's kick my butt and be done with it uh so enter on the farm you'll be entered to win one of tonight's cards i know my desk is a mess i've been working on so much so just a couple of announcements uh in the description of this video wherever you're watching it facebook page facebook group youtube there should be the link to sign up for on the farm bingo which is with Tiffany and I on Saturday, March 11th at noon central. I was going to add Tiffany's link, but it whoopsie, wouldn't let me shorten it. So if you would like to sign up with Tiffany, um, you can just navigate to Pretty in Paper Crafts and she has her link there or let me know and I can send you the unshortened version. Uh, hi, Dawn. Hi, Sue. Elizabeth. Again, Kathy. Okay, so um, I am casing a card that I got in a swap, and I know I showed you, but I saw, so on the farm, focusing on that because we've got bingo, the deadline to register is February 19th, which is Sunday, like you don't have a long time. <laughs> so I wanted to feature this, but also... I heard the word on the hockey game that I was watching last night, and I'm like, yeah, that's a sign. I need to do that one. Now, one of the benefits to this is you don't need the designer series paper to be able to make this project. So once celebration is over, if you don't have any of this DSP, you will be able to still make this. So if you're not entirely sure what I'm talking about, Day at the Farm DSP is available as a level one celebration reward until the end of this month or while supplies last. Uh, so you get, I want to say it's 24 sheets of 12 by 12 to each of these double-sided papers. They're gorgeous, free with a $60 order. Um, that's uh, 
retail, like before taxes and shipping, $60 order. So Tiffany and I will be using that paper for our bingo with the On the Farm bundle. And also, uh, just because I don't want to forget to mention it tonight, um, the Handmade at Home for this month is using the Sweet Citrus Bundle. It's so cute. And I just got my cards done after my workday ended. Um, also, it is Wednesday. I, want, I almost said uh, October. It is Wednesday, February 15th. I have been working at home this week because my son has been sick, but still, it's like, how is it only Wednesday? Uh, but I got these done after work today, so short commute from the dining room table to my craft room, and I just want to give you a quick peek of these. So with the Handmade at Home kit, you get, uh, you get one, the, oh boy, it's been, it's been a day, it's been a week. You will get a package of the Milky Dots. You will get a half package of the Regency Park DSP. I've got so much stuff on my desk, you just, you wouldn't even believe it. Uh, so you will get a half a pack of this DSP, which is what I've used, and then a roll of this Knight of Navy ribbon, which reminds me so much of the denim ribbon, but it's soft. It's like um, that chambray or chambray. I don't know how you say it. Um, but here are my three designs. And then Denise Cox provides her three designs. The are fun folds. I've got two out of three are fun folds. Uh, and then you get the cardstock to make one each of the six projects. There are videos, there's a written PDF. So if you love this bundle, you're not gonna wanna miss out on this class. I'm hoping to get my form done after the live, but I also have a ton to do. So um, tomorrow, worst case, my form will be ready and I will post that on my Facebook page, group, and my website, which has been so utterly neglected lately. Okay, so that's it. Uh, on the farm, I can't wait to design these cards. I've got my ideas right here. I just haven't put them together yet. So, oh, oh thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Dawn. It's so realistic, Karen. It's unbelievable. I've got um, a little basket of scraps. These are what I haven't used. And you can color it. You can blend it with a blending brush. Uh, there's going to be a million, well, maybe not a million, but there are a number of ways that you can use this bundle. So it's going to be fun. Hi, Sonia. Uh, also, coming from the duck, Anyone that has won cards for me on one of the live streams, they have all gone in the mail, I want to say like two weeks ago. So if you haven't received it, uh, there's a problem. <laughs> okay, so I shared this card when I got the swaps from the mini catalog. And this is from one of my new favorite Stampin' Up! demonstrators. I met her in Vancouver. Her name is Miran Big Rig. Her name is unforgettable. Like she even says in here how to pronounce it because she said me ran as in me ran to my craft room. Uh, but she made this adorable Etch-a-Sketch card. And I knew as soon as I saw it that I wanted to case it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do this with the farm. But it was funny because we were watching our home team hockey game last night, the Winnipeg Jets. And they said Etch-a-Sketch. And I'm like, oh, it's a sign. So I made this little card. Uh, now, it is a fairly involved scene, and maybe you wouldn't do that much on <laughs> Etch a Sketch, but I wanted to show you what it looks like, and it's so easy. So, one of you are going to win this, well, one of the two cards, because I will tell you, I, I managed to do my heat embossing after it was all assembled, because, of course, I didn't think about it at the time. It was all good, and then I smudged it. Like, I even managed to get a good inking, and it popped up. Like, it was a miracle. And then I smudged it, and I'm like, oh. And I didn't Google an Etch-a-Sketch, but I'm pretty sure that's how it looks. Like, with the gold typing at the bottom, I used some stylish, uh, stylish shapes, circles. So let me show you how to do this. I'll do a little bit of die cutting. So we need some real red, we need some stitched rectangles, and I am actually going to tape these better this time around. 
because they didn't go perfectly the last time. So we'll use some mint tape and it's, I'm getting so congested. But this dang cold will not just come and go and leave me alone. I've had a sore throat for two weeks or more. And my son was fine when he woke up on Sunday morning. And within maybe an hour, he was so congested. His nose is like almost as red as this cardstock. It was just unbelievable how fast it happened. Okay, so I'm going to grab some real red. Do you ever find that no matter how big your room is, there just isn't enough room? I've got my die cutting machine on a cart, which holds all of my plates and everything. And it is forever in the way, forever. So I'm just going to cut this into quarters because all we need is a mat. Now for this one, we shouldn't need that stitched rectangle as long as I remember to do my embossing before I do the rest, before I assemble it. I've got a fair size table, but it never fails. I run out of room in no time. So you really need, I'd say minimal supplies, but it might not be minimal in most people's eyes. Oh. It's been very productive, but I've got quite the mess to show for it. And like Elizabeth knows, ah, it stresses me out. Okay, so focus. We have a side folding card base. It is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a quarter piece of real red cardstock, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I will add these stitched rectangles. And this is the largest one. And then I want to say it's like two down. I'll just wrap this around so it doesn't move on me. And I think what I'll do is die cut my stitched circles at the same time. I had so many scraps of basic white and then I used them all and now I've got like nothing. So I actually have two sets, so we'll run them through at the same time. If you ever find that there is one die set that you are using over and over and over again and you need to do multiples, which I mean, maybe as a hobby demonstrator, that's not the case. But if you find that there is a set that you regularly need the same die more than once, get a second set, especially if they go on sale, which is how I managed to get mine. bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I have like 20 different stamps on blocks right now and I think that's part of what's got me flustered. That and it's hard to breathe. Yes ma'am, doing well. well. I must have missed something. Ah, uh, you know what Pam? I haven't had a chance either. I pulled it out to make this card and did I use it before? I don't even know. Um, so I know this is not stamping up, but I'm telling you these magic mats from scrapbook.com, like every place needs to order these. I was going to order some the other day, but they're out of stock. Uh, they are amazing. They make your top plate last forever. If you're new to die cutting, uh, you will quickly see that your plates get not damaged, but I mean, they get wear and tear very quickly. Okay, so here's our little circles. We don't need to do anything with these. We can just put some dimensionals on them. For my first card, I actually used uh, some of the foam adhesive sheets and a half, three quarter inch circle punch, but our punches really aren't meant to go through something that thick. And because these are the smallest stitch circles, they really don't need that much of a pop-up. Like mine actually goes almost right to the edge. So I will just use regular dimensionals. I'll put my dies away later. 
It won't kill me. So now we just need to peel these apart. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't think of it. So registration for bingo, it is international bingo. So if you are in the U.S., you can sign up with Tiffany. If you are in Canada, you're signing up with me. And it's going to be awesome. All of the details are on our Google Forms. I'm not even going to try to remember it all right now. Uh, I think that's it for the die cutting. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kim. Hi, Joan. You bought it for the grands. I love it. Hi, Barb. I don't know why I'm yelling. I hope everyone can hear me okay. I know I asked at the beginning. Hi, Roz, if you could hear me. Um, I think probably good, but I feel like I'm yelling. If I were typing right now, I'd be in caps. Okie dokie. Now, before I go ahead and adhere all this, I am going to get these dies out of the way and keep this rectangle for something else. You know, I am finding without the microphone being on, I can move wherever I want. Now, I have a choice for you. So on my sample card, I have from all of us, which is really cute. I mean, there's two pigs, there's a cow, I, a farmer probably. Um, but I was looking through my sentiments and I thought, you know, this would be so cute. Love comes in all shapes and sizes. So you tell me, should we have from all of us or love comes in all shapes and sizes? And while you're deciding that, I will get my stamping done. I think we get rain burning. Ooh, that doesn't sound nice. I sound great. Nice. Thank you. I am congested, but I'll survive. So I am using my new favorite vellum. It is the vellum that's part of the botanical layers bundle in the annual catalog. They are just thinner pre-cut sheets of vellum and I love it. Now in this one, you might see I have, I'm, it's not a bubble, but I mean, it's not laying completely flat. I don't know how Miran did it. She's a magician. Uh, also, I have to show you something at the end. This is, um, I have two other things that she made. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim this down to th four and seven eighths by three and three quarters, which is the size of my original one. And then it won't be hanging off of that. Uh, good enough. Then it goes in behind the rectangle. We won't see anything else. I cannot put this on until I emboss that sentiment. We are not actually doing anything to the vellum. Not a thing until we go to adhere it. Uh, you're, uh, I'm ready for spring too. Okay, it's looking like all shapes and sizes. <laughs> now remember one of you lucky viewers are going to win this. Now, I feel terrible because after I go live every week, I see people on the replay that are trying to win the card, and I've already given it away at that point. So I think what I'm going to do, I say think because my follow through is like ugh, rubbish. <laughs> um, the ADHD explains so much, but I mean, it doesn't make me not feel bad for saying I'm going to do something and then not doing it. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I will give one away during the live and then I will try to remember, I'll put it, I'll put it in my planner, uh, that I need to draw a replay winner. So if you are catching this on the replay, please type hashtag replay and I will draw a winner to get this, well, actually the winner tonight can choose whether they want the love comes in all shapes and sizes or the from all of us. And then the replay winner can choose, well, <laughs> can receive the other one. Okay, so we are heat embossing. So we need our um, Versamark and our embossing essentials 
essentials, add-ons, I don't know. The tray, the embossing buddy, the gold powder, and the Versamark. Okay. So, embossing buddy, whenever you are using darker cardstock, it is imperative. It's a good idea all the time, but especially when it is a darker color. Okay, I give it a little bit of a wiggle. Hello, Carol from Connecticut. Uh, spoon. These spoons, if anyone's ever wondering, I just got at Dollar Tree. Okay, now I know I have a ton of embossing buddy on there, but when it is set and not able to smudge anymore, I will just give it a little bit of a wipe. And can someone in the comments let me know if when I'm heating up my uh, heat tool, if you can hear it, because I've noticed on a couple lives that it doesn't seem to be, you can't hear it, which is awesome. I said, if Zoom can do it, Facebook needs to learn how to do it. So please let me know. Hello, Facebook user. So just a little tip here. I always preheat on two and then set on one. It reduces the amount of warping. So now bring it down to one. I heat from the back so that it doesn't blow off any of my powder. And when you see it changing, the magic has begun. Now you don't want to stay in one place too long because you can burn it. YouTube, you hear the tool. Okay. Thank you. Well, and Kathy, I'm such a dummy because I was thinking if I don't talk, it will probably um, like edit it out. But then I kept talking. So I'm sorry. Now I will let that sit because I don't want to smudge it like I did with that. But so far that looks adorable, doesn't it? So now what we can do is I've got a piece of smoky slate that is three and three quarters by four and seven eighths. We're going to take our basic gray. I did try memento, but it was just too dark. You want this to be subtle. If you ever played with an Etch-a-Sketch when you were a kid, it's subtle. Now, I love this one because it's probably very likely you could do that with an Etch-a-Sketch. I mean, maybe a professional could. This would be one heck of a scene to try and do on there, but I just thought it was so cute. Now, mine is a little bubbly. I don't love that. I wonder, I don't want to do it on this one because someone's getting this one, but I wonder if you used adhesive sheet on the vellum, if it would affect the look of it. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm, a, I'm probably my own worst critic. Okay, so what I would suggest is either with the little bit, like the red rectangle we had out of here, or with the dye, just trace around so that you know where, like what part of your front is going to show because if you look my cow is a little bit too low you can't even tell that he's eating grass so we want to keep it in those lines so i'm going to start with the little fields and then i am i'll do the barn after i do the cow now you certainly don't have to put all of this on here, you could just stick to like the animals and maybe the little bit of grass or whatever. If you try this with another stamp set, I would love to see it. 
get these pigs on here before I run out of room. They're so cute. Now, when I did my sample, I did take a little piece of tape. Thank you, Carol. I uh, can still hear you just fine. Perfect. So I took just a little bit of tape. This would work with a post-it as well because I don't want the barn to be stamped on the cow. Now, if you look at this though, you can see a little bit of the line. It's because if I were to mask it completely, there would be a gap between the barn and the cow. My fingers are not working. I can't use them for anything these days. It's driving me crazy. Okay, so no gap. Now, I will, uh, I was going to say I'll point out a boo-boo, but I think it's on the other side of this because I couldn't live with it. I did a little scribble with my stamp and write marker, but it was so much darker than my ink pad, so I couldn't live with it. Okay, so that's done. That's done. We've got some cute little clouds for the sky. I was going to stamp a silo, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. Uh, it was too much, but also, I mean, if any of you are kind of like around my age, you might remember the Little Mermaid video case issue. There was something that shouldn't have been on there. Well, I mean, it could have, it could have been fine, but it looked like something else. And I just can't. I can't do it. Okay, so I'll stamp a couple of trees. We're not going to see much of it, but that's okay. I had to mask the cow's butt. There we go. Probably could have done without those. And now we'll just erase these pencil lines because I don't want to take a chance of being able to see that. Now I did adhere my vellum to the back of the frame. I almost wonder if adhering it to this might make a difference in that we don't get that little bubble, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk having my adhesive show because that's what happened on my first one. And I'll tell you, this is taking a lot longer with me talking than either one of my samples did. Thank you. Okay, so you can just wet your finger or take like a baby wipe and wipe any of that powder off. It would almost look cute like that. I think we need the vellum, but what I'm trying to say and failing is that you could maybe forego the vellum, but I think that's what makes it look more like an Etch-a-Sketch. Okay, so I've got it around the outside. I wonder, maybe I'll put it, because there's a bit of a bow to this, maybe I will put it with the bow facing down. Give it a good burnish, and then sweep it that way so that I don't have any air bubbles. And it is hanging off by just a little bit. So I'm just going to take my scissors, and this is on the back. It doesn't need to be pretty. No one's going to see it can be jagged. There we go. Uh, going back to bingo, we are going to be playing six games and there are six make and takes. You can't go wrong. Tiffany will be designing three of them. I will be designing three of them. We play all six games of bingo and then we do the make and take. So if you have to, if you've got a prior commitment, you don't need to stay there for the whole thing. You can catch the replay. Uh, I am going to do it this way so that this doesn't go off the edge. Uh, you get Canadian, $30 in Stampin' Up! product, your six make and takes, six games of bingo where you have the option or the you can win. <laughs> you can win prizes. And the last time we played, we Tiffany had her prizes. I had a cash amount. So I have found that when I do bingo, unless it's at the very beginning of a catalog, people already have what they want, like those really 
I got to have it pieces. So what I tend to do is a monetary amount. So then if you win a $50 prize, for example, then you can choose $50 in product. And if it goes over, you pay the difference. I would suggest going over actually. Uh, now I used adhesive sheet the first time. I don't think I'm going to use the these strips. I didn't like how I could see so much of the um, the pieces because I kept them. Oh, I can't multitask at all. Made in Bryan, Ohio. That is so cool. Do they still make them? Am I going to get sued or something? <laughs> Actually, I did see them at, was it Michael's? I think it might have been Michael's. My son and I tend to go there on the days where I pick him up from his dad's. And I, I did see one recently. Okay, so I'm just, actually, we'll put one or two in the middle. Now, usually I would only use these pieces when I'm making a shaker card, but I don't want this to dip. And you don't have to create quite the same barrier that you have to when it is a shaker card, although I'm going pretty close. So I'll use my end piece on the inside. Hi, Amy from Edmonton. It is, I've always done it at $50 and I was trying to figure out the conversion. I want to say it's 48 plus shipping. Um, but if you are interested, if you have any questions, just follow that Google form link below. But I'm pretty sure it's 48. I have the memory of a goldfish. My daughter even said this morning that it's scary how much I'm forgetting. Okay, so now we can pop this up. They have them, do they love them? Love their etch sketches I don't even remember why it came up on the Jets game last night, but I'm like, yeah, I gotta do that card. I'm just looking at the Facebook replay over here, my little duck tail on top. <laughs> eh. There was a day when I would have cared. After I said that my hands aren't working, I decided to do it all by hand instead of my take your pick tool. Okay, so now I just want to lay it down and center it left, right, top, and bottom. Oh, it's so cute! And then we just need some dimensionals on there. And I just finished a sheet working on my citrus cards. Yes, they do. That's awesome. Okay, so we're popping these up and we're putting them just in the corner. Now, it probably would have been a good idea for me to Google it and see exactly what it looks like because, I mean, memory, goldfish. Uh, but I'm assuming that they're on the sides. So let me know, do you love it with the love comes in all shapes and sizes, which is maybe a little bit crooked. The from all of us and let me know do you love the stitch circles as much as I do I mean I felt like I had stitching on the outside the inside those needed to be because you could just punch them I think they look so cute like that oh thank you Jean so that's it what time is it 807 how did I still take that long talk 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 Okay, so let's go. Uh, I'm going to give you one more minute to enter hashtag on the farm to win one of these two cards. And like I said, if you're catching the replay, please do hashtag replay and you will be entered to win the remaining card next week. Now, I don't have anything on the inside, but I will do something on the inside. 
Uh, also, I wanted to show you, we did some mystery stamping at our team meeting the other night, and I was supposed to take a picture and send it. I never actually ended up finishing the card because I was supposed to be working on a tutorial, which I did. <laughs> um, but we are making Valentine's Day cards, and I saw someone else use the vintage jar punch, and I'm like, oh, that'd be so cute. So it's a little bottle of hot sauce with the pepper saying, you spice up my life. Why is someone angry? <laughs> Who's angry? Oh no. Okay, we ready? I'm gonna go to my other screen, although I, oh, now I don't know that you can see it. Can you see it? Okay, so you can't see that one. Oh, you can't see this either. Maybe I can hold it up. The, the whole point of doing it on here, well, one was, um, oh, Jean Hoffman is the winner. I'll hold it up because you can't see me move this one now anyways. Can you see <laughs> my very dirty phone? Winner, why? Everything's in mirror. It's like, mm, mm, mm. Jean Hoffman, you are the winner. So if you can send me your mailing address, because I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Uh, that would be great, and you can let me know which one you want. The love comes in all shapes and sizes, or they're from all of us. And that is all for this week. I want to thank you so much for joining me, and one of these days, I won't be a rambling mess. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. For those of you joining us for the Nothing But Love Retreat this weekend, I can't wait to see you again. We'll see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye!